a pretty boy. Mm. Oh, she's pretty boy. Hi everyone, I've got this to do. Not today, it was a few days ago. I'm just getting around to showing you today. I don't know if you can make out who wrote that. That's covering up my address, obviously. But that is uh, a signed book plate from Anne Bishop, who's one of my favourite authors. I love her Black Jewels video. Eh, video. I love her Black Jewels books. And, uh, there's a book plate there. Now this one is obviously from her, um, is it Courtyard of the Others? The, it's the Others book series there. I'm not as fond of that one, but it's still a good series. Um, I do prefer Black Jewels. They are quite dark. Um, a lot of people don't like them because of that. Um, especially since the first one does deal with child abuse. So obviously some people are a bit worried about it, but I really enjoy them and there's quite a few in, and she's going to have another new one out next year in the Black Jewels. Is it next year, maybe the year after? She's certainly in the process of writing it. And there's a couple of bookmarks that came with it. Now, I've had book plates from Anne Bishop before and I'm hoping when she gets a new one that's the Black Jewels, but if she does that again, um, I can get a Black Jewels one. That'd be really exciting. So Anne Bishop and Robin Hobb, who's another favourite author, they do every, I think it's maybe every year, once a year, or it's certainly when they've got a book out, um, they will have, they'll put up on their Facebook page, you know, if anybody wanting a signed book plate and you just send an email and uh, they will send you out book plate and so bookmarks. Sorry, I just went my eye. Um, so it's really, it's really handy for somebody like me. I'm in the UK, and if authors, especially international authors, come over to do a book signing, it's usually down in London or um, up. If they do come to Scotland, it's up in Glasgow, or Edinburgh. So there's not much opportunity in this little rural southwest of Scotland area to get to a, a book signing for your favourite authors. So the sign book plates are really good. Um, I don't know how many other authors do it. It's only because I follow both Anne Bishop and Robin Hobb on Facebook that I know they do this. Um, Robin Hobb, I've had a couple of book plates of Robin Hobb as well. And she also sent out a postcard. Was it kind of a Christmas time or the new year? Because um, we didn't expect, and I mean, it, Obviously, she sent out hundreds to everybody that had got signed book plates. She had those addresses, so she just sent out a postcard. But you're still like, oh, my God, I got a, a postcard from one of my favourite authors. So that was really good. And that's um, maybe an idea I'll pinch once I'm a famous author. Because that will happen, people. I've decided. So, what else I'm going to do in this vlog, because it's really got no purpose whatsoever, is I am going to show you my Lord of the Rings junk journal. I've done junk journals in the past before. I think I've shown you, I've shown you these two before. This was like my little vampire one, and this was like just a sort of horror one. I'm sure I've shown them before. So now I'm going to show you my Lord of the Rings one, because it's quite a good one and I want to start using these because they're lying about looking pretty but there's no point in just being pretty you have to be useful as well so I'm going to uh, start using them for the likes of research and writing down you know maybe this one can be writing the horror genre other tips and tricks just more specific for horror and this one is obviously going to be for my vampire book that I want to do at some point um, so I will do that but first of all before I think I film that I'm going to get whatever is in my eye out of my eye 
Okay, let's get this going. Uh, this is the Lord of the Rings junk journal that I made, oh, a while back now. Um, I did it with uh, a lady in Australia. She did her version. She did a very nice version. And um, I did this one. Now, if you don't know what a junk journal is, it's basically, <laughs> guess what it says, we kind of make up the tea dyed pages sort of thing. You know, this page, you tea dye them. Uh, to make them look vintage and then you just add in whatever kind of ephemera you find so I decided to do a Lord of the Rings one because I'm a big fan excuse me while I take a sip of my tea tea the great cure for everything um, so this was from a calendar I had I had calendars from like 1995 so obviously well before the movies came out and um Oh, you can see what that is, it's just Gandalf arriving at Frodo's door. And then inside, you know, just a, a little page there, there's a little pocket you can put things in. I'll try not to show you everything because I do gush a bit. <laughs> is that a um, and then you just put in postcards and things like that. I just printed off a whole load of it's a little paper doily. Um, an envelope from the calendar that I had, I made an envelope from it because I have a little envelope maker and then just ribbons and stuff. And there, it's just again postcards and washi tape that was sort of medieval, it had castles and knights and that sort of thing. Uh, and then just more stuff. This is, you know, the images at the end of the film when it came up telling you, you know, the, the actor's name. And it had this lovely sketch. I had the <coughs> excuse me. I can't remember if this was John Howard Allen Lee. But one of those, they did, you know, the the artwork, and there's just a little pocket there of the map. Another envelope, more bookmarks and stamping. I had a lovely little I don't know how well that shows up actually. I might see if we can find a darker one. But it was a lovely little leaf and it kind of reminded me of Lord of the Rings. And I just like this. <laughs> it's like Aragorn's big speech with a little twist. It says, A day may come when I will stop loving Lord of the Rings, but it is not this day. No, actually, that day will never come. It amused me. And like it just keeps going through. There's a little sort of band and Aragorn and Arwen. Now, what a lot of people, well, they can, you can use these for absolutely anything. And there's like, you know, because you can see in there it says Elijah Wood, and I just tried to cover it with a washi tape, which is fine. Um, and there's just some quotes as well. So what I was thinking of this one, um, these were, <laughs> I will get around to it. Uh, there was a card game, you know, like Magic the Gathering, and it had the Lord of the Rings card game as well and that's what this is from and then I just took black and white images and stuck it on the back there and then you know a little doily to make a, a tuck spot as people like to call them and uh, yeah so as I was saying what I'm thinking of using this for is maybe some world building for fantasy worlds and things like that that's more from the calendar um yes or some kind or just maybe a journal i'm not sure because with a lot of these things what people do as well now i kind of done these cards wrong. i should have had this on the front and then put it and then in the back you can actually write whatever you want but i didn't do it that way i did it this way my journal my way yeah i don't know if you can see that leaf stamp there it's a bit darker so yeah it just goes on like that i'll skip some because it's a lot and more bookmarks which I, I need to use i don't have enough bookmarks more envelopes that i made uh and yeah these are great fun to make and like i say i quickly showed you the vampire and the the horror one that i'm sure did it in a video a while back if you're interested i can go through them again but you know 
is a beautiful one. Um, I do love this quote here. No, I can't read it. Some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check, but that is not what I have found. I have found that it is the very small, it is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. And I find that to be so true. Because when somebody does a small act of kindness for you, or just says a kind word, which might seem, you know, nothing to them really, you know, it's just the way they are. It can mean a lot to to you when you're feeling down on yourself and all that. So that's just more quotes there. So yeah, these are great fun to make. And like I so say, you can use them here. You can journal in them. You can use them for practical things. Whatever your heart's desire, really. You can see that one's coming a bit. Right, so I have to fix it. Uh, and a little uh, Valentine poem for you. Beards can be red, a blade can glow blue. There's only one precious, and that must be you. Ah. And I'm not sure if I want to go and see this new Tolkien biopic. I probably will. But apparently there's been some controversy over it. Um, I think the Tolkien estate. But I think his son kind of takes umbrage at everything that's done with Lord of the Rings. So it's no surprise really. So there we have it. That's just and more maps and ribboned bookmarks and all that sort of thing and I love this ribbon that I got um, if you get it in all different colours so I just got gold and green to match the sort of Lord of the Rings colour scheme I had going here and this was just cardboard I just uh, put wallpaper over it no it wasn't it was tissue paper and then I just painted it green and then did a little sort of dry painting over it in gold to bring out all the the sort of texture in it. So there we go. I hope you liked that. It was a little different from I didn't know what else to do for writing or reading, whatever. I mean, this one, there's a little few dents and things in it, but that just adds to the charm, I see. Now, I've got another one here that you might like to. I did this one for fun because nobody else was doing junk journals. like Because a lot of the ladies, and they do absolutely beautiful work, but they're all girly you might say they're all yeah they're all lacy and things like that which is fair enough you know I've nothing against that I did a Jane Austen one which I absolutely love again if you want to see it I'll show it to you but uh, I don't have it down here with me um so yeah but those weren't the kind of ones I did so like I say you've seen the horror one and the vampire one I've done a dragon one which is now at my sister's because she loved it so much that she wanted it. I've did um, sort of Doctor Who and Game of Thrones, Studio Ghibli, uh, Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas because I was selling them as well. So I've sold two or three. Um, but this one, next one, I did for fun and nobody else was doing one like it. So I felt quite proud of myself for doing something different. And this one is a zombie one. And I just used brown tea, uh, brown paper. And this is just twine to hold it together. Because I'm thinking if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you're not going to have much material to make your journals. So <laughs> that was my that was my uh, thinking behind it. So that is just, you know, zombies. It's got a lot of images off the internet. Uh, these ones, obviously... The ones I've sold didn't have copyright images in them. That's very important. Um, it was paper that I'd bought off Etsy that had, you know, um, not images, more patterns and things like that. Uh, in fact, there's some in here that I'll show you. And the others are just images printed off the internet. But because they're personal, you know, I'm not selling it, so I'm not making a profit off somebody else's work. So this is just the event of zombie attack and... You know, keep calm and carry a shotgun. There's zombies and this and shit out there. Now, this paper here, I did 
I like this is the sort of pages I got from Etsy. Somebody just did like you no know, digital pattern on it, and it was of zombies. And I thought, well, what can I do with that? So for the tea staining of the pages, what I did was I'd got some nice loose tea from my daughter, which I didn't like to be honest, but shh, don't tell her. Um, so what I did was once I dipped it into the tea solution, I then put this loose tea over the top of it and layered it in amongst the pages, put it in the oven to dry it. And it made it this sort of kind of mottled effect, but I was looking at that, it almost looks diseased. And I thought, oh, what could I use that for? And automatically my mind went to zombies. So yes, and like I say, again, it's just all different uh, images and that. And pockets for whatever else you want. And now this one I do have a specific plan for, and I've never got round to doing it. And that is survival tips. Because you never know. It might happen one day. So I wanted to put in, you know, which is also, I suppose, something suitable for writers of fantasy and that. It's more like the foraging for food, what you can eat and all that sort of thing, how to skin an animal, which I know it's not nice, but it's survival. You need to know the... So all that sort of thing I want to put in here. I've just never got round to it. And like I said, some of the pages, they did, really did come out quite nice as well. So again, this is just all like the printed pages and uh, the tea stained pages and images and tuck spots and all that sort of thing. And there you go. Don't open dead inside. Now, how many of us, when we first seen this, went, don't dead open inside? And then we kind of went, eh? What? And then it's like, don't open dead inside. Like, ah. Yeah, I was one of those. I went, well, that doesn't make sense. Zombie Ewok. I don't know if anybody has ever read Death Troopers. Um, I can't remember the author's name, but it's basically Zombie Stormtroopers. It's a Star Wars novel. And it's like, I so want that as a movie. Maybe like an animated movie like Dead Space. That would be cool. But it's like, oh, Zombie Death um, Stormtroopers. That's amazing. And there we go. It's just other things. Surviving the zombie apocalypse. Uh, and it goes on and on. Outbreaks. And um, advice for zombies. Use your brains. And I had to put, you know, a zombie Jesus in. No offence to anybody. Zombie squirrel! Because why not? Attack of the zombie squirrel! I have got a tarot card set based on zombies. It's amazing. It's an, it even comes in a little box that looks like a, a cartridge shell box. Is that what you call them? For rifles, bullet box for cartridge shells. I don't know. This is Britain. Only farmers and certain police have guns in this country. That's a bit of a. <laughs> and then, of course, zombie unicorn. Because you've got to have a zombie unicorn. Right. I'm kind of dragging this out a bit. So there we go. And you can see like the twine holding it in. And that just goes on and all the different images and things like that. But yes, so this one I am going to use survival tactics. How to survive in the wilderness, regardless of whether there's a zombie apocalypse. Um, and all that sort of thing. And then, because I've got a nice... Um, it was a an e-book for campfire cooking for when you're out in the wilderness and that sort of thing because people are always going on why is it always stews and fantasy novels that people make and you go well because it's easy you just bung everything in a pot but this one's so I thought oh recipes for campfire cooking when you're out in the wilderness and don't want stew so I can also put that in here 
So there we go, this has been a bit of a rambling video, but well, you know, some people might be interested in seeing these things, all these, see what other artistic talents we have apart from writing. So I'd be interested to know whether or not, do you do junk journals? Did you find this interesting? Are you an art? I, I am envious of people who can draw and paint that sort of thing because uh, I would love to be able to do that but I can't so I have to do things like this and sculpt dragons and fairies and things like that but uh, yeah so let me know what other artistic talents you guys have I do do other things but uh, this video is long enough I think it's okay if you like this video please give it a like comment and subscribe and I will speak to you soon okay bye